So next topic here is APP stipend. So a couple things that we know uh, looks significantly less than the PPA. Okay. I can't I can't talk about what uh, what I'm getting paid, but uh, I will say that um, both young pros and senior pros are getting paid out like that. Don't believe that is happening for the PPA. I could be wrong, but I do not believe that is happening. Uh, prize money split for the APP. Uh, with young pros and senior pros. It's 70-30 or it's 60-40. PPA is 80-20 or it's 90-10. Um, it's got a significant difference in uh, in their vision and, for sure. and what they're trying for to value sure. going forward. Uh, and KMAC, uh, run us through the APP Tier 1 stuff and then the APP tournaments uh, entry fees, if you don't, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. So kind of cool. So it looks like uh, they're going to be paying the yeah. top 10 uh, top ten men and top seven women a stipend. So with that stipend, um, your your entry fees will be covered, um, and then the stipend is tiered. Uh, I think lowest if you're you know around tenth, or for women seventh, uh, two fifty is what you'd get, and then the highest, the number one ranked person, would be a thousand. So um, everything kind of in between there. Uh, but what I thought was kind of cool yeah, was uh, the top twelve for for men and top. Six. Not sure why they just didn't keep it the ten and seven still. No Ken Herman. They're just trying to make it tough on us. Um, they're they're giving uh, providing free lodging at whatever the the hotel that hosts or or, or sponsors that tournament. So uh, you know, from a pro player's perspective, like if you can go into a tournament and say, "Hey, my entry fee's covered. Um, I've got a little bit of money to help cover the flight or the rental car." And then I don't have to worry about paying for a place to stay. If you can break even getting to a location and you're a top player, you've got to feel pretty good about your chances of walking away with some money and three different events, uh, you know, for chances at that. And then, you know, a lot of these top players have some sort of a matching system in place with either outside sponsors or their paddle sponsors. So, uh, you know, it seems like you, when you do the math, they're, they're giving people an option to or an opportunity to start making some some solid money if you are one of those top ranked. Uh, male or female players definitely I, I have to say too it definitely seems like you know it's a little bit of a bidding war right now between PPA and APP you know PPA tried dun, to, dun, to dun. lock in you know uh, the top players to get them to sign and based on um, needing to play a lot of tournaments to get points um, and, and, it, and forgive me for the for the lodging it also said you had to play or commit to 12 Tier of the ones. 15 tier one APP tournament. So Ken is, Ken's trying to get the commitment of the top people and trying like to it. incentivize them for the loyalty. And I think, uh, I think it's good for the sport. It'd be interesting to see which people, you know, choose not to sign with the PPA. And those people will be very much in contention for a high ranking on the, on the APP. Tyson, can you talk about how many tournaments you're allowed to play? Cause you've signed with the PPA. Yeah. yeah how yes. many are you allowed yeah. to play outside? I can PPA? play six outside. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, to be honest, uh, I have a couple tournaments kind of lined up, um, for next year outside of the PPA, but, uh, we as players, a lot of us are just taking a back seat and just kind of waiting to see like if there's any private events or right. basically it's, Hey, we're going to, we're going to come what are the where best the events? money yeah, is. No, and sure. so, and there's, you know, like we were just in Missouri, uh, Maybe I should mention this, but there is a little buzz about this 100K private event in Missouri yep. next April. Top eight men, top eight women. The whole 100K gets paid out. Pretty cool. So, like, there's a lot of this stuff taking place and popping up pretty quickly. So, yep. the last thing you want to do is pull the trigger on a bunch of APPs that are, like, 60Ks and, you know, have 40% uh, of the prize money. Nothing against senior because I love my seniors and I have seniors that, that work for me. Cammie and, yep. Cammy and John Sperling. And yep. I know they're, no, they're sure. big APP people. Absolutely. But... At the end of the day, if I can go play top eight women, top eight men, uh, it's only young pros. And it's hundred k. Like I will take that all day long over a sixty k app. So uh, I'm just kind of camping and waiting, and simply uh, waiting to see where the where the dough is. Yeah, it seems like one of the major differences, and I could be wrong here, but definitely if you look at the payouts, app is putting more money into the seniors. The right. seniors also have the opportunity for a stipend, yep. as well. Um, but it, Correct me if I'm wrong. PPA does not factor singles in to the kind of the points or who signs. They they or, do they, they do. do. Okay, uh, so. it's just a smaller appearance fee. Correct for singles yeah, it's and, a, and it's proportionally a, it's a, it's the payout is less significantly for much smaller a, right. appearance fee for singles. I mean the 
So what what is a fact is that the APP loves singles. The PPA can really care less. Right, and, and it, it shows that true. from a from a financial standpoint. Right. So it seems like it shows that uh, PPA a, said, "Hey, we want to put more of our eggs in the basket of the top um, under fifty pros for doubles more more exclusively." Whereas APP uh, seems to financially value singles a little bit more and uh, has spread the money out a little bit more with with the seniors. I'm not going to say right or wrong either way, just yeah. kind of some of the the differences between the tours. But I, I I think it's obvious that there's a there's a fight for for loyalty a little bit because if if yourself can only play six tournaments and all the other people that are similar boat where they've signed with the PPA, they're not going to be in contention for that ranking of the top 12 right. um, to be able to get free lodging. So they're trying to incentivize maybe uh, some other people or people on the fence of maybe having that option to, to opt with uh, maybe not signing with the PPA and, mm -hmm. and playing some more APP. So we'll see who, uh, who chooses kind of which, uh, which schedule. Right.